okay now we will start the uh, second order lattice structure sorry for being very slow as i told earlier uh, for a second order refrain filter you have to cascade two first order sections in series okay so input is x or n so you will have two lattice structure cascaded in series first order sections okay okay now x or n is the input for the first section Okay, this is F0 of n. F0 refers to the section 1. This is G0 of n. F0 of n and G0 of n. It denotes the first, uh, first section of the lattice. Okay, now you have a delay element here and then you have adder this is the first section you have to cascade one more section like this for second order so this is k1 reflection coefficient for the first section okay okay now uh, the output of the first section will be f1 of n this is not the entire output y of n this is not the final output so f1 of n ok so what i have drawn, drawn is i have drawn two first order sections and then the output of the first order section is f1 of n and g1 of n which goes into the second order second section and output of the second section is the final output y of n ok that is f2 of n you have two outputs f2 of n and g2 of n at the end of the second uh, second section ok now we have to write uh, as usual y of n in terms of x of n so y of n is nothing but f2 of n because it's a second order uh, is equal to f1 of n plus k2 g1 of n minus 1 i hope all of you are able to write this from the uh, diagram f1 of n is nothing but f0 of n plus k1 g0 of n minus 1 and g1 of n is nothing but what is g1 of n k1 f0 of n plus plus g0 of n minus 1 ok ultimately we have to substitute for f1 and g1 so substituting for f1 and g1 from equation 2 and 3 in 1 we get y of n is equal to what is f1 of n f0 of n plus k1 g0 of n minus 1 ok plus k1 sorry k2 into what is g of g1 of n you already have the expression so simply delay it to get g1 of n minus 1 so you have k1 f0 of n minus 1 plus g0 of n minus 2 ok not 1 because see we already have the expression for g1 of n we have to delay it by 1 to get g1 of n minus 1 ok so f0 of n is equal to g0 of n which is nothing but x of n we already know that ok so what is the expression for y of n uh, for the lattice form it is nothing but 
will substitute in terms of x of n, x of n plus k1 x of n minus 1 plus k, k1 k2 x of n minus 1 plus as usual x of k2 into x of n minus 2. Is that clear? So, if you club everything, finally you will get x of n plus k1 plus k1 k2 x of what n minus 1 plus k2 x of n minus 2 ok now what you have to do we have to write the expression for direct form and we already know the uh, direct form coefficients so by equating both we have to find the uh, what is a value of k1 and k2 reflection coefficients once reflection coefficients are obtained we can realize FAR filter in lattice form ok so this is the direct form expression we know b1 of n and b2 of n both are known because we know how to design FAR filter ok so b1 b2 are the filter coefficients ok so what do you need to find you need to find the reflection coefficients k1 and k2 so once you find k1 and k2 you can implement the same FAR filter in lattice form ok so um, k1 and k2 are called as reflection coefficients which I have already mentioned previously so the purpose of uh, the aim is objective is to find out the reflection coefficients in terms of direct form coefficients because direct form coefficients are already known so for okay so what is the expression for y of n lattice form what we have done before Do you remember? X of n plus k1 plus k1 k2 x of n minus 1 plus k2 x of n minus 2. Do you remember? Recollect, try to reflect whatever we have done before ok and uh, we have to write the same equal and direct form um, expression x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2 so we know b1 b2 we have to simplify k1 and k2 So, B1 is equal to B1 is equal to K1 plus K1 K2 B2 is in simply K2 For substitute for K2 as B1 So, B1 is nothing but k1 plus k1 b2 so take k1 common what will you get simple way ok so k1 into 1 plus b2 
so what is the expression for k1 k1 is nothing but b1 divided by 1 plus b2 okay this is the value of first reflection coefficients b1 and b2 are direct form filter coefficients and what is the second value of second reflection coefficient here b2 okay so we have found out the reflection coefficient coefficients in terms of direct form coefficients and hence we can implement the same filter in lattice form now can you please do it for order 3 you will have probably three simultaneous equations which you need to solve okay so go ahead i'll see you in the next next session